Hey guys, I got a review for you today. I used to own this guy here. I sold it because it just took up too much room and I never used it. I bought it, uh, this DeWalt 10 inch compound miter saw a couple years ago to put an addition on my house. I really had not ended up using it all that much. I usually do a lot of stuff with my circular saw with just a speed square. Uh, makes awesome cuts, accurate, especially if you're doing a ton of cuts, especially with the stand, which has got the, the stops and everything, but it was just too big. So I sold it and I bought this instead. This is a Ryobi seven and a quarter inch chop saw, compound miter saw. Not the, you know, the most heavy duty thing. Good for the homeowner. It's uh, small, it didn't cost that much. I think uh, if you can pick one of these up when they're on sale in Canada, maybe like a hundred bucks or something. Anyways, it's uh, good for just a regular homeowner. It'll cut a two by four, no problem. Uh, doesn't, you know, it isn't, it isn't gonna have a ton of power, but I'm only using it to cut some trim and mostly just small little pieces of wood for projects. Not really adding an, another addition onto my house. So this is perfect for me. Um, so if you're looking for something bigger, don't go with this. If you need to cut larger boards, like a two by six or two by eight, go with something bigger. You're gonna, you need the extra power and um, where this doesn't slide, you're only, you're only limited in the cutting area of approximately I don't know, maybe like that much there, whatever that is. This comes with a 24 inch general purpose blade. It's not a great blade by any stretch of the means, but what do you expect for the price? Um, if you wanna make some really good cuts, get a better blade. I plan on getting a better blade eventually. I just needed to get a quick project done here with some shelving, so I didn't bother to pick up another blade. Uh, I'm gonna get one with more teeth on it eventually, but for now, it's a new blade, it'll do the job. But as you can see here, the cuts are pretty rough. The end grain here is pretty rough. But you know what? It's okay. It also comes with this little clamp here that you can use to clamp pieces of your work pieces in. I like that. Does an okay job. It's not bad. Removable. You can put it on the other side, on the left or the right hand side. Actually, why don't we just cut it just to see how far it does does go. Almost a two by six, not quite. So measurement wise, you could probably get on the back side here, you could probably get four and a quarter is what you're gonna end up with. Anyways, you know, it worked well, you heard it there. I've done some cuts for the shelving I'm building. It's perfect for that and it's light. It's easy to move around. It's not heavy. It's, uh, it's okay, it's well, sort of solid. It's not gonna be the most accurate. I've made a bunch of cuts with it. If you line up the blade directly on the wood, it is quite accurate. It comes with this cheesy laser sight. Those are never accurate. I don't know. You, there's an adjustment for it, but I'm not even gonna bother to use that. Maybe some of you have had better luck with laser sights. I don't know, I generally never have a good luck with those. Um, it rotates 45, this just past 45. More like 40, I don't know, maybe 46, 47 to both sides. The lock is back here, which is really handy. Just flips up and you can change it then lock it. I did put a square up against this. It's pretty good. No complaints there. Like I said, this is not gonna be for heavy duty use. It's just for the, you know, for the typical homeowner. You need to make a few cuts here and there. It's gonna be great. You can do your, your bevel here, it bevels to the left, all the way just past 45. It came with, so it locks like that to hold it. Came with this dust bag, I quite like this. This does a pretty good job catching everything actually. Little handle back here. Overall, great little saw. 
and perfect for what I need it to do. If you're looking for something bigger, this isn't for you. This is just a cheap, inexpensive saw. I wish DeWalt did make something like this that wasn't too expensive. I'm not sure actually if they make a seven and a quarter, but, um, or Milwaukee or any of those. I know Makita makes a sliding one, but that's pretty outrageously expensive for what I, for how often I need to use one of these. So this was a good thing. Get it just at Home Depot. I get the reviews on it real, really good anyway. I've been using this for a few days. I really like it. Anyways, that's my quick overview of it. It's not the highest quality, but it'll get the job done. All right, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. Till next time.